Hello everyone. Today I will be telling you five horror stories from Reddit. It wasn't a little girl. I was camping with my spouse and his family in New Mexico at a tiny lonely lake. Our party consisted of around 10 individuals while the neighboring campground had a group of 6 people. It was late as night and both groups were engaged in customary activities such as creating s'mores, drinking and telling tales. When we all heard what sounded like a little girl pleading for help. We didn't have any children with us, but we were all certain we heard a small girl and we agreed to examine the area where we heard the sounds together. There was a field behind our campsite. and we also a very tall pure white person standing maybe 100 feet away from us making the sounds we all agreed that this monster was around 6 feet tall slender and white as a ghost we moved closer to examine but whatever we saw began to back off as we got closer and it vanished into the woods As we attempted to sleep, we kept hearing a tiny children screaming for rescue. The Walking Dead. I am a psychiatric nurse who worked in a residential mental health facility early in my career. One of our residents was an elective mute, which means he didn't, wouldn't, couldn't speak for no medical reason. He had talked earlier and his life and seemed very normal with the exception of being about 7 feet tall. He was reared in the deep south and entered the military at the age of 19, but he disappeared one night. He was proclaimed evil and then pronounced missing and deceased. 10 years later, a 7 foot tall guy strolled into a VA hospital emergency department in my area. of the midwest and told the receptionist my name is marion dutcher and i have been dead for 10 years those were the last words he ever spoke he was caked in dust and dressed in the same clothing that he had been reported to be wearing the night he disappeared his social security number had not been used and he had lacked identification they were able to identify him and i believe by fingerprints The family was informed but they said that they had already laminated their lost man and that whoever claimed to be him could not be him. They requested that they not be approached again. Marion walked all day, every day, moving his lips as if he was murmuring or conversing but no sound came out. He had an unsettling tendency of flinching his head back with his lips wide open. as if he was laughing hard yet not even a breath could be heard from him when i spoke to him he seemed to listen sometimes flinging his head back in that laugh mimicking manner of his several drugs were tried but none had any effect on him either favorably or adversely occupational therapy was ineffective because marion would merely smile and until instructed to remain seated he did get up and resume his pacing marion pacing in the parking lot fringing his head back to laugh was the last thing i saw on my final day at my employment later i wonder whether i did be dealing with a ghost all along even after all these years i still don't know the unrest stop when i was 16 and my sister was 20 I was traveling across the nation with my mom and sister. Even though it was late, we were well rested and alert. We were traveling down an expressway and needed petrol, so we pulled over at the 200-mile rest stop. At the gas station, there was a van full of youngsters on a road trip, as well as a little gray vehicle stop in front of us with two young males standing motionless outside. When we arrived everything seemed off. We did been on the road for days and had passed through several rest spots at night, but we did never felt scared before. My mom and sister walked inside but I remained in the vehicle. 
I overheard the youngsters complaining about how freaked out they were and how they couldn't get the pump to work and how they had to leave quickly. I was looking at the automobile in front of us and the two guys were standing still there. Not even a smirchen. They were not conversing. They weren't talking on their phones. They were motionless like if they were made of stone. My sister and mother rushed back out of the vehicle where the two guys slowly turned to gaze at us while not moving or turning the rest of their body and I swear to my crap we all saw the same thing black vacant eyes it's completely devoid of everything it wasn't dark and it didn't reflect any light at all it was simply a blank we raced away and didn't stop until we reached the next day. What was the most unpleasant aspect of the whole experience? We were unable to locate the location on any map. We knew precisely where to look on the highway but neither Google Maps nor any physical map could help us locate it. We even inquired about the airy petrol station on that stretch of road and we were met with blank stairs. Since then we have driven on that highway and there hasn't been a rest station. It came for us in the graveyard. We were driving through a big cemetery in my friend's speed up Sebaro. We came to a little pond after stopping and walking down a hill. On the opposite side of the pond, someone was seated on a rock. The figure was completely dark and we couldn't make out any details other than the fact that it seems to be a guy wearing an old-fashioned top hat. We made a mistake of waving and shouting hi. He sat still on that rock showing no sign of acknowledgement. He sprang to his feet, began rushing toward us on the lake and suddenly disappeared in thin water approximately halfway across the pond. I yelled and dashed back to the vehicle with my pals. We heard something thumping on the back of the vehicle and the car wouldn't start. It wasn't a steady boom but we could hear it every few seconds or so. From what we could see in the dim light, no one was outside but something was making a noise on that vehicle. I took out my phone and began contacting my mother to come help us but there was no service. We didn't have any mobile service, the next 30 minutes were spent attempting to start her vehicle. We didn't hear any dumping sounds after that but we felt a lot of pressure surrounding us. The vehicle finally started and she pressed the gas pedal all the way down. We rushed out the cemetery like a bullet. All of our phones restored cell services as soon as we passed through the gates. One thing I'm confident of is that there was someone or something out there and it wasn't an animal or a person. It was good to see an old friend. I attended my high school reunion when I was 37 years old. I flew in and hired a vehicle from the nearby airport. It was a 35 mile journey through an extremely remote and nearly deserted section of the nation. I noticed someone waving me down on the side of the road about 3 miles outside of the town. It turned out to be one of the guys I used to hang out with in high school. We started conversing when Jim, not his real name, gets in the vehicle. I haven't seen him in almost a decade, yet he looked the same, if a bit older. When we get in town, I invite him to join me at the VFW for a drink. No, just take me home, he adds. Headed in the direction of Jim's parents' home, which was just a few streets from my grandma's, but he suggested to drive him to the outskirts of the town. I saw a mobile home parked nearby and assumed that it was where he lived. When we got to the end of the exit, he remarked, Simply drop me off here. It was great to see you once again. He then goes into the darkness. I go to the VFW and ran across several of my former classmates with whom I striked up a conversation. As we discussed 
who would attend the reunion, I remarked that I had just picked Jim up and put him off three miles east of town. Everyone became silent. Even the karaoke singer who comes to the hall and puts down his microphone. Cousin's skin became as white as brand new t-shirt. Jim died eight years ago on that band barb. His automobile rolled. We were all there at his memorial service, I was informed. I began to feel quite dizzy, so I stepped outside of the vehicle to take some deep breath. On the seat is a copy of local newspaper from eight years ago, which has Jim's obituary. The document is still in my possession. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoy these horror stories from Reddit. And I hope this story might spook you out a little bit. You keep supporting my channel so that I can make more videos for you. Thank you everyone for supporting this channel and kindly don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends. Lastly, remember, be careful out there. Mm -hmm.